welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're just gonna do a simple get ready with me. I'm gonna try and do like an easy glam makeup look. I've got a few new bits here that I've been wanting to try on camera and I can finally do like a little get ready with me. My skin has been awful lately. Like this was, this is like a milia spot that I had, like a really big one and I took it out. Which is not that safe to do. Normally you're supposed to go to a dermatologist to get them out. But you know me. Like I always DIY stuff don't I. But yeah I took some out. And the scars are going to go away. But yeah my skin. I don't know what it is. I think I've been eating too much chocolate. It's just not happy. Anyway I've been really loving this. Ole Hyrickson. I don't know if that's how you say the brand. This is a serum that I received. By the way, some of the items in this video are gifted. I thought I mentioned that. Nobody wants to get sued out here, okay? But this stuff has been really, really nice. I'm put that all over my skin. Oh my god, it feels so nice. And I really want to get their banana primer. I tried it on my skin. Um and it just smells so nice and it was so like hydrating. I need to get myself that. But this True Serum is very, very nice. So I don't know, Boots might have a promotion still because I know they did. They were doing a promotion. So I'll link everything in the info box as always. But yeah, I've been liking this and it smells so yum. For moisturizer, I'm gonna pop my Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Hydrating Lotion with SPF 25 been so bad with my SPF lately maybe that's why my skin is not happy I wanted to do a little giveaway by the way whilst I'm doing my skincare I'm going to be giving away the new glam glow super toner and the a little mini glam glow super mud clearing mask so if you guys want to win these all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed I will be checking and then comment below what is your favorite skincare product I'm very curious to know. I'll put the giveaway details in the info box like when I'm going to announce the winner. I'm going to be doing this for UK only, but I will do more international giveaways in the near future. I'm going to use my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is in the shade number five. And I think number five is the best shade for me for brow stuff because the sixth one is slightly too dark for me. Gosh, I've missed this. Obviously, like, it's been so hard to film lately. And do you know what? It even isn't even that because I'm just constantly waking up early, going to work, coming home, working out, trying to be healthy, cleaning, doing all laundry, taking care of the cats because they're so messy and needy. And I love my cats, trust me, but it's like having kids. And I don't know, like, it's just been difficult to find time to film and I don't want to film if I don't feel like it. This past week, honestly, I did try to film and I have clips of me just trying to do a look and I was not feeling it. I just literally put everything down and I went up and just chilled because there's no point. Like, if I don't want to and if I'm in like a, a shitty mood, I, there's no point in me filming. Like what's the point then if i'm not enjoying it what is the point i know like youtube and everything is a business for everyone and yeah for me as well i do earn money from this platform but like i started this because it was a hobby and if it's no longer a hobby like i don't want to lose that feeling of enjoying this and i don't want to make content that i don't enjoy doing do you know what i mean and yeah, sometimes I go through this phase where I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to be in front of a camera. So what I've been doing is like I've been watching a lot of my old videos, like my makeup videos and stuff like that. And that really helped, like just getting me motivated and I don't know. And I really do like doing my Instagram videos as well because not only are they like quicker to edit, they are like really fun like quick videos they get um they do reach more people on instagram which i understand why a lot of people are moving to instagram lately but i want to make sure that i keep making content like good content for my youtube because that's where i started that's my this is my main platform and i feel like this is where you guys can really see me and get to know me 
And honestly, on Instagram, that can be kind of hard sometimes because you're just seeing this video of someone just making facial expressions, putting makeup on, and sometimes it's just hard to like connect to that person. So that's why I really wanna like stay true to my roots i guess i don't know i just want to keep making good content on here even though yes instagram is a bit easier and quicker to do compared to youtube videos but i still want to work hard on here as well and not just like leave this platform hanging because i honestly over anything like i'm so proud of this platform and like what we've become and like that that trust that we have between us honestly am i getting too deep right now long story short i just want to like enjoy what i'm doing enjoy the content i'm making and still like stay connected with you guys on this platform that makes sense i'm going to use some of my l'oreal more than concealer in toffee i also didn't want to film i feel like also like when my 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 filming space is messy i don't want to sit there and film so i spent this morning cleaning this crap up now the next thing i need to do which will also like motivate me to film more is cleaning my brushes and I think maybe that's why my skin's not too happy as well because I've been using brushes that are so dirty on my face every day um so I need to wash them and again like where is time where is time I'm gonna grab this uh the Emily Edit palette by Revolution it's got really gorgeous colors in here but I think I'm gonna go more for the browns anyways though guys are there any shows that you guys have been enjoying lately or I want to know I have so many recommendations for you guys oh my god if you guys love horror films you need to go watch us on I think it's still in cinemas I don't know but it was I got story time actually because I want to know what you guys would have done in this situation. I really did enjoy the film. It did get ruined in the end, unfortunately. But we were—I went with my boyfriend. We were just laughing our heads off, and it's kind of creepy at the same time. It's a true horror film, but it's got those funny moments, and the acting was so good. Like uh, Lupita was so so good in there. Like honestly, she's such a good actress. But yeah, I really did enjoy us, but when we went to the cinema, like, we were just watching the film, minding our own business, and then the sound went funny at the end. So the sound completely cut off, and we were watching, like, the end spoiler bit. You know when they just reveal everything, that bit? The sound went off at that bit. And I got so annoyed, I got up, and... I don't know, I'm very passionate about films, like I, when I watch a film I want to enjoy it and you know the sound cut off during the spoiler bit, I got so annoyed, walked out, I was like I want a refund, this pisses me off and they were like well, they're going to rewind it, I was like I just saw it, I just saw the end without the sound and it went on for a good five minutes, so yeah they did give me like extra tickets for next time but I got so annoyed like that ruined my experience, am I overreacting or would you guys would have done the same thing? But yeah let me know, did I overreact? My boyfriend said I maybe overreacted a little bit. I got sent these eyeshadows by Topshop Beauty. But yeah, this is from Topshop. And it, the, it's their glitter eyeshadow in bandstand. But this stuff looks so pretty. And I just want to literally pack this on all over my lid. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm just going to use my finger, but I'm going to also wet it with a brush and see how that applies. So it might apply a little bit better. Or maybe I should have put something underneath. It's a little... not much of a difference. I did think it was going to be slightly more intense, but it's all good. It's not the best. I'd probably... I, don't, I think these are more like drugstore, but Bobbi Brown ones are just super more like, if you look, more sparkly, you know? The next thing that we're going to use is the Roller Liner by Benefit. These liners are so, so, so good, and the Kat Von D pen liners are so good as well. Just look at that. Boom, boom, boom.
Can you see how easy that was, guys? Do you know what I miss? I miss my contact lenses. I want to wear contact lenses. I did get some new lashes, which is by LMX. I believe this is Little Mix mixes new brand and these lashes my sister actually got them and i was like i'm gonna get them too because they were only three pounds this is in the style peri dramatics i washed my beauty blender but i also got some kick at we need some primer so i'm going to use the super fruit extract by revolution skincare For foundation today, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Skin. Bare, no, Bare Pro Performance Wear Foundation in the shade Cardamom. Oh, and another like series that I really did enjoy but was really hard to watch was Deadly Crime on Netflix. I think it recently did come out. But just the acting and everything is really good on there. But the story itself is about the... Um, 2012 Delhi rape case with that girl on the bus I don't remember if you guys remember it was all over the news I don't know if it's exactly the story but it's very close to it and it's inspired by it but like it was so hard to watch and to like just just put in your mind of like what actually happened to that girl and like what she must have gone through on that bus and afterwards and it's just it's just really heartbreaking but I feel like it did make some change they did put they I think they put more extensive laws um but it's so sad to me like it's so sad that someone has to suffer so much for there to be like a change made and ugh, it was a hard one guys it was a hard one to watch but yeah, I would definitely recommend it to you guys. I think everyone's talking about it on Instagram, posting it on Twitter as well. It's got good rating. The acting is really good as well. Okay, I'm going to use some of my Kevin Aquan concealer. This is in the shade SX11. I'm just going to get my beauty blender. I also did really... You guys should follow me on Instagram because I did recommend these all on there. But the bodyguard, not the bodyguard, but it's called Bodyguard on Netflix. But I think it's a BBC show. And they just recently put it on Netflix. And maybe that's why everyone's talking about it now. But like who watch who who watches TV these days? Like honestly. The only re time I would get the TV is to watch of Love Island. That's it. Or maybe sometimes strictly come dancing. Or I don't know what else I would watch. My sister watches, uh, so I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. But Bodyguard is really, really good. Like, the guy from Game of Thrones is in it. Oh my god, who's excited for Game of Thrones? I'm so damn excited. Oh, <sighs> I've just started watching, like, the last season again so I can refresh my memory. I was going to watch it from season one, but season one and two are, like, a little bit boring. I'm not, I don't have time, so I'm just going to watch it from the last season just to refresh my memory a little bit. But you know that music that they put when... Daenerys is it Daenerys yeah when she comes on they put that music oh my god it's so uplifting it's like I need to be a dragon queen right now <laughs> I'm gonna use the NYX can't stop won't stop setting powder in the shade medium because the one I used in banana is a little bit light and this concealer is quite light already I'm gonna use this just to add a little bit of brightness, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder in, I think this is the banana one. Just to add a little bit of brightness. I need to get my hands on the Fenty Beauty bronzer, so I might go to Harvey Nichols. Sometimes I receive their PR, sometimes I don't. But it's not a problem to me, like, I can just go get it. I just hope there's still some in stock. This is the Cheerleaders Pink Squad Palette by Benefit. And I don't know why if it's just me. When I open this, it smells so nice in there. I wish I did get the bronze one. I might have to get it because that one has Hula Caramel. But actually, 
I only want that the darker one because it's got a darker bronze in it, but I might just get the new bronze as they came out. Um, Nikki Secrets on the new campaign, which is crazy and like good for her. Like, I'm so happy for her. She was using one of the darker shades, so I might get my hands on that one. But right now, I've been using Hoola. It's not like the darkest, darkest, but I can make it work. I'm also going to pop some of the blush in California. Does all, this palette does also come with a really cute like brush which is really nice and I'm going to take the shade Tickle which is the highlight I'm just going to pop that as me highlighter I really like this because it's quite like gold I'm also going to pop some of my Smashbox Primer Water to set that in I have a Topshop waterproof eye pencil in Treasured, which is a beautiful, like, bronzy shade right there. It actually looks really stunning. I'm going to use this sleek locked up super precise lip liner and don't slow me down. That liner is really creamy. Have I tried this sleek lip liners before? I don't think I have. The next thing I'm going to use is this Smashbox Crimson Chrome. I think this is their liquid lipstick. Like a red but with a shimmer to it. Actually, yeah. Ooh. All right, guys, this is the end of this get ready with me. I'm going to go film a clothing haul now, which is so long overdue. Like, I miss doing clothing hauls, but anyways. Please give this video a big like. Make sure to check out the uh, giveaway rules if you want to enter and win these two little goodies from Glam Glow. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.